हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी हम जेनेटिक्स से चैप्टर कर रहे हैं फ्रॉम मीडियम रॉबिन्स एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल्ट्रेशन इन द बिट्स ऑफ द जीनोम विच इज एक्चुअली द नॉन कोडिंग रीजन ऑफ योर ऑफ योर जीनोम सो यू नो यहाँ हेडिंग लगी हुई है ऑल्ट्रेशन इन नॉन कोडिंग आर एन एज अब ये थोड़ा सा कॉन्सेप्ट समझने की जरूरत है यू नो वी हैव अ पीस ऑफ डी एन एच इज अ डबल स्ट्रेंडेड जीनोमिक पोर्शन एंड दिस डी एन ए is transcribed by the process of transcription into a piece of RNA. अच्छा अब ये जो डी एन ए से आर एन ए बनता है डी एन ए में हम कहते हैं कि देर आर सो मैनी कोडिंग रीजन एंड देर आर सो मैनी नॉन कोडिंग रीजन सो आर एन ए में उन कोडिंग और नॉन कोडिंग रीजन को हम नाम देते हैं एग्जॉन्स एंड फिर बीच में आते हैं इंट्रॉन्स फिर पीसीज होते हैं जिनको हम कहते हैं एग्जॉन्स सो देर इज अ प्रोसेस विच इज नोन एज स्प्लाइसिंग बाई द प्रोसेस ऑफ स्प्लाइसिंग होता ये है कि आरएनए का हर वो पार्ट जो कि नॉन कोडिंग रीजन है वो निकल जाता है सो ऑल द पार्ट विच डज नॉट कोड फॉर प्रोटीन इज एक्चुअली यू नो स्टाइप्ड अवे इज एक्चुअली डिलीटेड फ्रॉम द आरएनए सीक्वेंस एन ए नॉन कोडिंग सीक्वेंस ओके अब वो जो नॉन कोडिंग सीक्वेंस है सुन के अपेरेंटली ऐसा लगता है कि वो बिल्कुल काम का सीक्वेंस नहीं है बिकॉज उससे कोई प्रोटीन ही नहीं बन रहा लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है उस नॉन कोडिंग रीजन के भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन है फॉर एग्जाम्पल we have uh, micro rnas which are present in the non coding region we have uh, small rnas we have silencing rnas what they do by and large is that they control the expression or they control the normal functioning of the coding region so non coding region basically control the function of um, coding region right to inka hona bhi zaruri hai so they are also very important ab agar inme mutation ho jayegi tab kya hoga so that is the topic today alterations in the non coding regions of the rna so it is worth notifying that until recently the major focus of gene hunting has been discovery of genes that encode for proteins recent studies however indicate that a very large number of genes do not encode for protein in fact if you ask me most of the genome does not code for protein instead the non encoded products of the genes which are for example known as non coding rnas they play important regulatory functions jaise mai aapko bata raha tha although many distinct families of non coding rnas exist um, jo do aapko sabse important yaad rakhne hai wo hai small rna molecules which are also called micro rnas and the long non coding rnas which are called lnc long non coding rnas so ye do aapko ek micro rna aur non coding uh, long category dono hi non coding regions hai दोनों ही वो रीजन हैं जो खुद प्रोटीन नहीं बनाएंगे लेकिन प्रोटीन बनाने वाले एरिया को कंट्रोल करेंगे ओके सो देर आर सो मेनी सच रीजन बट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एटलीस्ट टू ऑफ दैम माइक्रो आर एन एज एंड एल एन सी आर एन एज ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दैम लिटिल फर्दर विद दिस ब्रीफ रिव्यू ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ द एबनॉर्मेलिटीज दैट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू द पैथोजेनिस ऑफ ह्यूमन डिजीज वी कैन टर्न अवर अटेंशन टू थ्री मेजर कैटेगरीज द फर्स्ट वन is what we call the mendelian disorders now mendelian disorders result from mutations in single genes and the genetic abnormalities show very high penetrance penetrance ka matlab ye hota hai ki agar parents mein kisi ko ye disorder hai to offspring mein is ka transfer if this is high we call that the penetrance is very very high okay these um disease all all of them are hereditary and familial mendelian disorders because the transfer from one generation to the other they include many uncommon conditions such as storage disease lysosomal storage diseases inborn errors of metabolism hum padhenge inke bare mein but yahan aapko sirf introduce kar rahe hain is terminology se ke what are mendelian disorders so mendelian disorders are basically uh, usually not 100% of the time but usually they are single gene disorders and they have high penetrance from uh, parents to offspring then we have complex disorders involving multiple genes as well as the environmental factor so for example hypertension diabetes allergy usme genetic component bhi hota hai aur environmental factor even cancer even cancer so cancer also if somebody has for example p53 mutation and then the diet is also not good for the person so there is a genetic component and then there is an environmental component okay then there is another category which is called disease arising from chromosomal abnormalities now these are diseases jisme gross chromosomal issues hain hum mendelian disorder ki jab baat karte hain to usually single gene disorders ek gene involved hai right 
But when we talk about chromosomal abnormalities, so for example, CML is chronic myeloid leukemia, and then there is a translocation of the bits of chromosome. One piece of the chromosome goes there, and the other piece from this chromosome goes there. So this is a very, very gross problem. Similarly, we have Down syndrome. Down syndrome is trisomy 21. Yani chromosome number 21 pe do ke baje teen chromosomes hai. So these are gross chromosomal issues. Then there are other genetic disorders which involve single gene mutations but do not follow uh, Mendelian rules. Hum next video mein ye discuss karenge ke what are the Mendelian rules. So for example, if we are talking about autosomal dominant disorders, what are the Mendelian rules to follow? If we are talking about autosomal recessive disorders, what are the Mendelian rules? So some of the single gene disorders follow Mendelian rules, but many of them they don't. So this category में वो सारे genetic disorders fall करते हैं, such as Huntington disease है. Uh, they are single gene disorders usually, but they do not follow Mendelian principles. So, usko bhi hum padhengi. So, these all categories of genetic disorders uh, are something that we will start very soon. Immediately, the next video will be on the introduction of Mendelian disorders. Till then, take care of yourself. Apna khayal rakhiega, and aap se milte hain bahut jald. Happy New Year to all of you.